Wednesday's Times, Bantz is no longer a get-out-of-jail-free card if you're in the police, Scott. Met Chief Mark Rowley vows to crack down on sexist banter among police officers. He's apologized. Mm. Yeah. People are apologizing lately. I kind mm. of like it. But he's had a, he's, some people doubt whether he really has the, uh, the t- determination because apparently he's had the opportunity. He's been warned before. Is that right? Well, he said that's why he's there. That's why he's been hired is, is to yeah. fix this. He said yeah. he's determined. He, he said that mistakes have been made, mistakes, <laughs> meaning he, um, racist and misogynist remarks have been made and, and carried on, mm. not just one or two, but they've been a thread. And he said, you know, if, if, if it's a mistake, we can correct it. But if it's a repeated use of language, we need to fix it. There's a problem much deeper. And that person basically does not fit in the Met any longer. And he's they're saying they're on a path to... Uh, yeah, they're going to get rid of them. Yeah. And so he, he's suggesting that the Home Office should issue new rules about rogue officers so that he doesn't have to deal with it just himself. Are they rogue or is it the whole culture of the Met? I've always wondered. He felt- thinks that it's rogue. He thinks that, uh, you know, uh, once an officer has been accused... 11 times of misconduct, they should be fired. 11, 11 strikes and you're out. That exactly, seems reasonable yeah. to me, yeah. And uh, that's why they're wrong. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I think that the police are under, obviously, a lot of pressure. Uh, they claim to be understaffed. And I oh. think that it's, it, it might be easy. People have made mistakes on TV shows all the time where they get, oh. they're get reprimanded. I guess for, police can make the same mistakes, you know. Well, um, I suppose it depends exactly what, but what is banter and what is, what is racism. That's what he's saying. Exactly. This yeah. is the thing. I mean, if we're all going to be held liable for what we see in WhatsApp groups, mm. then we're all going to jail. Well, this is, yeah, yeah. You know, it's impossible. He calls it immediate candor, meaning yes. a, a remo- an off-the-cuff remark. Straight to the face. And, yes, yeah. and it's especially something that's repeated but not filmed. He wants things recorded and filmed before he accuses an officer. There's a because... real danger, isn't there, that, that this changes the culture and people are just constantly like recording and filming things and everyone mm. is... Because but we are, so I suppose we're so. at that. That's where yeah. we're at. So. Yeah. yeah. But we've seen we've seen WhatsApp groups uh, being yeah. used in, in trials to, to get police officers yeah. convicted and get police officers disbarred. What and looked a bit like, in some cases, more like dark humour, like forces type, exactly. like gallows humour, rather than racist abuse. But, but, but the exactly. problem is there's a big difference between you know jokes and banter and yeah. actual sinister you know meaningful. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm friends with some of the some of the you know most right on. Uh, anti-racist, you know, nicest comedians. Yeah. And we say horrific things to each other in WhatsApp groups be- yeah. because we're being funny. Yeah. And that's not... What we say isn't meant to be taken literally and we yeah. don't assume it's taken literally. Well, the problem is the police are not hired under normal employment laws, so no. they're not subject to this kind of criteria that, that say, we are if we were hired in, maybe here or in any other job. Mm. And I think he wants the Home Office to step in and help because the employment laws that the police are under are not probably strict enough. Mm. Uh, at least for him. Mm. So. Well, I suppose I wish him well. I just hope it doesn't become a, a hideously second-guessing kind of environment. Next-